by Megan Cuniff. Thank you again for joining us here on Live Now from Fox Legal Affairs, a journalist covering this from the very beginning. Let's get into the latest with Brian Steele after he was held in contempt yesterday, arrested, taking off his coat and tie, led away, then brought back in. What do we make of this today after maybe not revealing his source there about who told him about this meeting there in the judge's quarters? It, there was some thought that, that today was going to proceed with just nary a mention of what had happened yesterday, but we were all reminded of it when there was an issue raised with Woody and his current counsel. Uh, this is Kenneth Copeland, who was the witness at the heart of this ex-party meeting. His uh, testimony or lack of testimony in the beginning had caused a lot of concern for prosecutors and there were some allegations that his own defense attorney was working against his interests so this meeting monday morning was obviously spurred by that and then here this morning uh copeland announced on the witness stand she fired he said that about his lawyer he said he did not want to have her as counsel anymore she had actually approached the judge about it looking to withdraw as counsel so that was eventually allowed this afternoon but judge glanville said you know you're not quite done here yet and set the hearing for june 25th and he didn't give more details than that but his order describes what this is and it's exactly what what we thought he suspects that she is the one who leaked this information or, or leaked might not be the right word who told young thug's attorney about this ex party meeting that was going on and what was said in that so we've got the 25th to look forward to with that yeah we're gonna go round and round in circles talking about this let's get into the brian Steele thing because obviously he did not reveal his source yesterday when we talked he might have had the opportunity to tell the judge who that source was where he learned the information of course he did not do that he's ordered to serve 20 days, 10 weekends, they're going in on Friday at 7 p.m., being released again on Sunday at 7 p.m. Uh, of course, he's also there going to serve in the same prison as Young Thug. How rare is this and maybe how much credibility does he earn with his client to serve time in the same place as Young Thug? I'd say this is rare. It, it, it's not unheard of for an attorney to be charged with criminal contempt. I, I've seen it before. I haven't seen it in this kind of dramatic fashion. And I have have not personally covered a jail sentence like this that's that's pending. And I, and I think the fact that he wants to uh, be cellmates with Young Thug is a testament to their great relationship that they've had really over the years. It's not just this one trial. Uh, Young Thug even has a song where he he mentions Brian Steele and, and gives him a shout out. So I think this is just a testament to how close they are. Yeah, that is a great insight there, Megan, because I did not know that. But of course, there are the 10 weekends they will be working on their defense there in this very extended yeah. trial. Let's talk now next about <laughs> continue. I was going to say, I think there is a chance because he is appealing this. And sure. there was some back and forth with Glanville about whether he even could appeal it. But the defense attorneys he has seem adamant that they're they're appealing this. So we could see some action in the next couple of days. Whether it stays his jail sentence is to be seen. But I am expecting something to unfold in the next few days regarding his appeal. All right. Why am I not surprised by that? So another development we'll keep our eye on. All right. Let's get into the other maybe headline from this trial earlier on today talking about about little Woody who was on the stand, Kenneth Copeland there. I want to put up this tweet and he said, maybe emphatically, she fired about his attorney right there. What do we make of this moment and maybe what transpired after it? Because it's not as simple as you announce on the stand that your attorney is fired. How much is going into this? Right, there was some discussion with Woody about does he, does he want to represent himself? Does he want new counsel and the judge was reluctant to just release the attorney while she, uh, Woody was still testifying. So there was a lot of back and forth on that. And then there was also a question of, is the, the woman who appeared for him, Caleb Bumpus, is she actually technically his attorney? Because she had uh, served in place of Jonathan Melnick, who's an Atlanta defense attorney who appeared for Copeland on uh, Friday. So there was just some kind of technical back and forth, but she ended up filing her motion to withdraw. And that's when Judge Glenn Bill said, you know, you're not quite done here yet and scheduled the hearing for June 25th. Yeah, not quite done yet. And she tried to approach the the judge there to have kind of a conversation not in front of the court as well. Maybe what's the likelihood that she remains on this trial uh, moving forward? Is that a possibility? Because there were obviously him, uh, Kenneth Copeland remained on the stand. She was present for this. What's the likelihood that this actually happens, that she's actually fired? 
I, I think she's done. I, yeah. I don't think we're going to see her again in the courtroom outside of this hearing on June 25th. I, I think Copeland is uh, in his own up there. And in, in the end, Glanville was, Judge Glanville was making it clear that this is, Copeland has his own choices to make here. So, and I think Judge Glanville has been concerned about the presence of attorneys. And I think he shares some of the concerns that prosecutors have about perhaps what you know, perhaps Copeland's interests aren't being represented here, but the the ex party to, to not even notify the defense attorneys about this ex party meeting that he had is really, really the extraordinary and almost unheard of uh, action here. Yeah, and you mentioned it potentially at the beginning that potentially it was Bumpus that informed Steele of this meeting. And is there a possibility that she didn't know that he wasn't supposed to know? Uh, it, it, it's possible because overall, everyone feels like the de the defense. This is something you get notified about yeah. when there's ex party is not uncommon, but it's standard that the other the other party who is who is not subject to this would would be informed about this. So it is possible that the attorney just thought that this was something he should know about. I think that the question from an attorney duty standpoint is is this something that she talked about with, with kenneth copeland and did kenneth copeland know that she was relaying what he said in the meeting and what this meeting was about to counsel for young thug all right that makes sense and i do want to ask you one more question because she was fired there by kenneth copeland she left the courtroom and apparently she went online crime and there was commenting on this do we know any information about that about what was said by bumpus and, and maybe any ramifications it has you know i i, I have not I, yeah. I i'll have to check that out that's the first i'd i'd heard of it but i imagine this is something that could come up in the show cause hearing depending on yeah. on what she said all right, and I do have to ask you because it is development after development in this case. Can we predict, can we even look ahead to what's coming down the road for this trial uh, and potentially having a mistrial is very detrimental with all of these speed bumps along the way? Yeah, I definitely don't think there, there there's not going to be a mistrial. The judge is the one who will declare a mistrial, and he's made it clear that he's not going to do that. The only way there would be a mistrial is if the jury somehow drops below 12, and he just he has to declare a mistrial. So I think we're in for uh, the summer of the YSL trial. We're going to have Kenneth Copeland up on the stand probably all week, because really uh, outside of the Caleb Bumpus uh dust up and Kenneth Copeland firing her on the stand. This was just more testimony from Kenneth Copeland, who is so central to this trial. And there's so much that we haven't even gotten into that his direct exam probably will go all week and then he'll be on cross next week. Yeah, very, very interesting. Of course, Bumpus apparently called it a circus online, talking about potentially ex parte communications and conversations there, like the one potentially not revealed to Brian Steele. So uh, we'll see what comes of it as he's going to serve some jail time pending an appeal. Uh, anything else that you'd like to add that before I let you go? Because there's a lot of different facets, a lot of different angles of this case. Right. There's just so much going on. And I think it's just important that, you know, everybody remembers there are there's a uh, young thug, a legal name, Jeffrey Williams, but he has five co-defendants and they're in jail without bail. One of them is actually serving a life sentence, but the others uh, potentially could could be released and 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 live a life after this. And I know the attorneys are are concerned about the length of the trial and and just what this is doing to to the case. It's so unprecedented to have a trial this long and to have the defendants being held without bail like this. Yeah, like you said, it's going on for more than a year now. It's intense moments there between the judge and different attorneys for all of those defendants and witnesses on the stand. All right, Megan, I appreciate your time. Another wild development today. Uh, thank you for breaking it all down here on Live Now. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You know, I, I think you cut out there, so hopefully okay. I'm not missing a question, but it's always great to give you guys an update on what's going on and everything. And I'm going to keep track in the trial. So thank yeah, you so we're much. Gonna, we're going to keep our eyes on it as well. Thank you again. Uh, talk to you yeah, soon. Thank you. All right. We're